Look at that. It's beautiful. No, look at it. Into the valley of death we go. The scourge troubles me. It's gone. The curse is lifted. The curse remains. The beast was born of it. A scourge made in equal measure from the treachery of the Newsmith sisters. Worse, though shaped by Thickskin's betrayal, it was driven by Kate's. Remember what Charles said. A nightmare is the ghost of one who is terribly wronged. This nightmare's cold fury goes far beyond the Newsmith sisters. It cursed New Eden as a whole. I wonder what they did to earn such hate. Promises unkept, covenants broken, the curse has its roots in betrayal, treachery that perhaps demanded sacrifice. I will keep my word. We chose together. I know we did. I know you will. Did we miss a few? I love how you love animals. Crows don't count. This is locked from the inside.
Do you need a moment to rest? I'd rather keep going to New Eden, but I uh, probably need a... You're thinking. So are you. Penny for your thoughts. I was thinking of Kate. Of the pain in her eyes when she saw that ghost. As if her heart was breaking all over again. I can't shake the picture. According to her journal, Kate had had the courage to love a woman, but betrayed her. She must have meant this Deborah. Whoever this ghost is, her resentments extend beyond the new smiths. The sisters may heal if they can draw the family poison. Sisterhood can be complicated. You're not big on family, are you? A family weaves its bonds in trust. If the trust is broken, the bonds wither. Sounds like someone got hurt. When I was very young, I had a friend. She was my chosen sister and very dear to me. I opened my heart. It was a mistake. I played with fire and was burned. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. I have a new family now. I have found the love of my life. Did you? Show me the bastard. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> Rest now. I have the watch. I'll sit by your bedside until I can hold you once again. Come here. I want to try something. Hmm. Good morning to you too. Yeah. I think we can break this down together. Sure, let me grab my pickaxe. Just trust me. Did 
Did you feel the way I tore the veil? I... I did. And we did it together. But I do. You brought me focus. That's plenty. Can you do it again? Oh, I intend to. Strange place for a stockade. Farm ground, marshy approaches. What Bannockburn? 1314, and the Scots beat the English. You won the battle, but who won the war? Dunno. It's not over yet. Shite! Do your new thing now! You'd have to die first. Hinders them. Something bitter. I know. That's a witch's work. Could it be Seeker? We cannot be sure. Tread carefully. Something feels off. The veil is thin here. The dead are many. So, you dislike crows? Winged carrion eaters. They always bring despair. Maybe they just follow it. Could you knock that gate down? There is no way I'm breaking this. Let's find something else then. This would do nicely if I wanted to put my legs up. This is locked from the inside. There might be a way to open this door from the other side. Ah! 
reinforcements. Make a run for it. Lurking here. Time to work, Banisher. Trouble ahead. Banisher, who died for her novice. Ah, the witch's novice. Ho oh, there, Antea. Are you not surprised to see me? You're a little early, but no, not surprised. On my return, Ceridian told me our poor wee banisher would turn up haunted. <laughs> A haunted banisher. Well, it is funny, isn't it? You look like you need a moment. Can we help? <laughs> Thought you'd never ask. Some of my spirit chasers went out. Uh, that's how old Saul crossed the hem. The hem? The hem. Where the fabric of the living world meets that of the dead. Ah. The veil between the visible and the invisible. Whatever soothes your soul, Vanisher. Rest. Heal. Tell us how to fix the spirit chasers. The spell is cast. You need only light them. Be careful. Old Mossed won't have gone far. Oh, I'll sit down now. Good luck. Have fun. So, how do we do this? We light the spirit chases with flint and steel, I guess. I think.
Red, there is something wicked placed upon this. I can sense it. You can just sense it? It's hidden, even for me. But I can hear its dark will. Like a curse or a spell. A curse or a spell, eh? Maybe Seeker could help us with this. I get the feeling that we have six shots. First spirit chaser. like these things.
I feel a draft. From the invisible. Did you feel that? It's close. One more to go. Here's one more. I'll drink from your skull. Burning spirit chasers repel these bastards, right? That's how witches use them. I'll get you too. This should be enough. There. Witchcraft is easy. I don't know what the fuss is about. I'm sure your witch friend would agree. I think I'll just tell her we're done. What wasp crawled up that spectre's arse and stung him angry? A lost battle? A betrayal? Cowardice in the ranks? Who knows? Seeker's vanished. She does that. She's over there. Did I see you talking to a crow just now? Yes and no. All ready to go then? Good. She's waiting for you. Go where? To see your mistress? Ceridian, yes. In a boat. It'll be fun. No, we're going to New Eden. The nightmare's grip on the world is too strong. The fog is too thick. You cannot enter its stronghold. There's no way back to the meeting house. Not yet. And not without help. We've done fine on our own so far. You're dead. Maybe you're not doing quite as well as you think. You're blunt, but I take your point. We'll talk to Ceridian before we move on. That's better. Follow me. Careful. Don't rock the bow. Have we far to go? 
how far is far? Don't worry, you'll be safe. Safe? The mire is home to many angry spirits. <laughs> but my mistress keeps them quiet. <laughs> Dead quiet. That spectre you fought looked like a harvester. Vanishes and their labels. He'll surely be back. So will I. The veil seems thinner here. Always has been. We call them the Maya Marshes, but the nearby tribes call it the Ill Mouth. Stay too long, we'd get sick. Is that why Ceridian's wards wane faster than they should? That is because she's dying. I'm sorry. Life's a journey. Death is but one step. This is almost as lovely as that ride through Hedengracht. All we're missing is the hailstones and the Russia at our heels. I'm sure we can arrange something. You do plan the best escapes. What a mess. What happened here? Men happened. War happened. The soul soul. What does he want? Destruction. Bloodshed. Ceridian's head on a plate. They must have known each other once. We could help you banish him. You banishers are so arrogant. He's Ceridian's business. Best we don't interfere. Spectres on the shore aren't moving. The marshes are well protected. Are those soldiers? That, Miss Duarte, is Old Saul's army. You're young. You're dead. I meant your essence is strong for one your age. How did you come to be here? How did you come to waste your potential by being a banisher? Do you believe I'd make a better witch? Yes. I do. You'd be doing yourself and me a favor. Welcome to Ceridian's Island. There is much power here. Oh, you noticed that, did you? Like I say, welcome to Ceridian's Island. She's at home, and expecting you. Follow the path until you find a black pond near ancient ruins. I'll see you there soon enough. How does she do that? It's a trick, right? There's more to that one than tricks. The girl is gifted. This would be nicely if I wanted to put my legs up. Hanging dolls. Witches do like to be creepy. As a child, I made dolls just like those. <laughs> I bet you did. C. 
Seeker's Black Pond. I can see why they call this the Ill Mouth. What is that? Antea? No, that's not quite true. I knew who I was, it's just... I was lost, and I had nowhere to go. I had no when to go. Does that make sense? Time lays traps for the dead. It's never fair. His voice was a beacon. The light in the darkness that led me back to me. And to the world. You have a powerful connection, you two. Or will have. Or had. Possibly all three. And here he is, the other banisher. Greetings. Good day. Come, sit. It's been too long. Have we met? Of course we have. Just now. Also later. Decades ago. <laughs> Never mind. It's good to see you, Red McRae. I told her our story. I hope you don't mind. Such an ordeal. I'm so very sorry you have to go through it. How hard it must be for you both. I... thank you. But now you're here together, and I'm glad. Because you will only be able to end this together. You brought us here. Why? You have many questions, and I have little time. I have a few breaths left yet. But yes, this is the twilight. Still, after the darkness comes the dawn. You're dying. Soon I'll be one with the trees, root and bark. But that is not why I asked you here. Dearest dears, the path ahead is yet unclear. But know this. If you are to defeat the Nightmare, your hearts must be open. Open, of course, to each other. No barriers. Your bond must be strong. The Nightmare is stronger. Wherever we turn, its power is inescapable. The same is true of many things. Darkness, yes but also light. When you died, dear Antea, New Eden crumbled, but some yet live. Seek them out, help them. The nightmare won't like that. No, you are after all a threat to her existence. And rightly so. She believes you cannot reach into her domain. She is wrong. There is a way. The Void. A dreadful place beneath both the Incarnate and the Invisible. When you have learned to walk the Void, you may use it to enter the Nightmare's Den. First, you must free the people of New Eden from her grip. To reach New Eden and retrieve my body, we must help the very people who created the Nightmare in the first place? Yes. Excuse my lack of enthusiasm. Can we not just go back to the meeting house and do our jobs? You must release folk here from her grasp. Only then, through the void, may you reach New Eden Town and confront her. How do we access the void? Is there a ritual? In places, the void is breached. Follow the beacons. 
Do not stray, and all will be well. Our seeker crafted you a tuning key. With it, you may open the breach. Don't linger. Time is fickle. We recently came across a cursed item and thought you could help us cleanse it. Really? Why us? Well, you know, spells, curses, witches. I was teasing. How fun it is to see you squirm. There are many ways to enchant an item or dispel its curse. Seeker may be of help. Go talk to her. She likes to tease you too. Would a hedge witch have something interesting in her swamps for a banisher? I always have, and I always will. Thank you, Ceridian. We'll be off. Before you leave, tell me, what did you choose? What do you mean? Each of you made a promise to the other. What was it? What did you choose? I chose to stay. I see. The price, in essence, will be high. But you know this. Aye, we do. The tuning key is on the table. In the void, it will protect you. Seeker waits at the pool to show you the way. Help yourself, and take all the help you need. Time to waste, but I do not. Ceridian gave us a tuning key. Now I know how you pull your little disappearing trick. It's no trick, it's what we do to survive. Too many bastards out there was dead. This must be one of the breaches Ceridian mentioned. Yes. This is a void breach. But yours are a little further down, in the cave. You'll see. This one is special. It's the last and only way into New Eden Town since the bridge burned down. We could go back to New Eden right now? Why would you want to do that? The Nightmare is strong. She has New Eden by the proverbials. Loosen her grasp, and maybe 
Just maybe you can walk through that breach and live. All right, all right. We get it. You have your tuning key. Hold on to it for dear life. That shouldn't be a problem. Once through the breach, there's no turning back. Keep going and don't look back. We'll be going. Hope to talk again soon. Yes. I do so enjoy our little chats across the hem. Is this Seeker's Cave? Only one way to find out. God, where are we? Remember what we were told. Follow the beacons. Move fast. No looking back. Barren. Lifeless. This is the realm of the dead. This is the underworld. Let's not linger. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yes. Keep moving. There, our way out. It's you. <laughs> and there. What the? What is going on? I know that voice from long ago. I banished its owner. What does that mean? It means we must leave now. Next beacon is dead. Oh. new abomination is this? I'd say a sorrow used as a Cerberus. That's unheard of. Vehicles are just getting stronger. You'll get it next time. 
Destroy the pillars before anything else. This horror crawl. I don't know, but we need to go. Was that? Ceridian's key was supposed to get us through unnoticed. I don't know. Are you all right? I'll do. But that nightmare over there, we know so little about it. That worries me. What about you? Whatever the reason, that nightmare is here because of something these men and women did. New Eden reeks of their guilt. I died because of them. Curse these people. Curse them and their secrets and their sins. We all get there. We always do. Are those breaches really safe? We were protected. You heard the whispers. The despair and that one voice. It called to you. Something knew you were there. It saw you. I thought, for, for a moment, I thought of them, those poor butchered boys. I swear in the void I heard their screaming, wains, sent to die for their sultan's pride. It was like I was back in the Balkans. Those ghosts are gone. You asked for their ascent, and I gave it to them. They're not in the void. I know. This void. Is it hell? Is that what we saw? Is that what we've been sending all those ghosts we've banished? Or is it limbo? A timeless in-between filled with tortured souls? When we banish a ghost, we destroy it. The teaching is clear. What if the teaching is wrong? I heard the voices. They worry me too, but the teaching can't be wrong. We should have known where we were sending those poor souls. What if you end up there too? All is well. As long as we stay together, all is well. Aye, all is well. Right.
Seeker wasn't lying about the burned down bridge. Which way? North by the mountains or south through the lowlands? Let's pick one and see where it takes us. The nightmare can take so many forms. The snow, broken bridges, all of it. I know. You always wonder, was this caused by nature or by the ghost? to hit harder than that. Be the Harrows. An imaginative name. There's a ring to it. Over there, a dock. An underground landing. Interesting. There's a path. Let me... I wonder what was landed here all that time ago. Something illicit, no doubt. Spectre, going for a meat suit. <laughs> They never learn, do they?
Ceridian's island is a pleasant place, but you'd never know it from here. Better to keep it that way, eh? For everyone's sake. Nightmare has influence here. We should be careful. No matter the bridge, we can cross it. The landscape here is more pleasant. There are fields and pastures and better weather. Can you feel the warmer air? I don't feel it, not really. But I know it's there. If I focus, I can still see the... I How do I get the feeling that we're sick ducks? Your funeral! I think I heard the sound of a gun cocking. The landscape here is more pleasant. There are fields and pastures and better weather. Can you feel the warmer air? I don't feel it, not really. But I know it's there. If I focus, I can still see the beauty of the world. I'd be tempted to think the warmer air means a warmer welcome. I suspect I'll be wrong. Trust that instinct, young apprentice, for it will serve you well. Suddenly, I can't manifest. That's not good. Something magic hinders me. I'm still hindered. There must be another ward nearby.
better. Thank you. These wards look fairly new. A witch? Doesn't look like Seeker or Ceridian's work. Let's be careful. The new smiths, Thick Skin and Kate, have always been as fire and ice, but with Red and Antea gone, little remained to keep the sisters together. A chasm of grief and rage yawned between them, their bridges burned, and the camp stared into the abyss. What now? I can't help you from here. I'll deal with it quickly. I am warded. I cannot.
roads. You're on your own. Something has me. Wards. That's locked. That must be a I'm at your side again.
What in the... there's a ship here. Incredible. Beautiful too. Wards. I'm going to need a hand here. I... 
Corpses. We could manifest what hides here. Show your shape in flesh! I have another. Me later. Crouch. My dead body.
something has me. Wards. Wards. I'm going to need a hand here. Cannot manifest. Beware, wards. You're on your own. Red, I can't manifest anymore. You're on your own. What is lurking here? Time to work, Banisher. That's a void breach, all right. Should we jump in? Take on a ghost!
You shouldn't stay in there. Almost it. I know.
think you could take on a ghost? They never learn, do they? You got this, pal. I can handle this on my own. Soon enough, you bastard.
Incoming. Pillars of pain in the arse, more like. I can help. Follow my voice. I see no more pillars. Shite's toughened up. 
Adventure? Sounds fun. You're such a little boy sometimes. A oh, fishing boat, eh? Cause that's more plausible than a galleon.
creeping ivy. I always hated these sap thirsty spectres. Reunius fat aster hili. You losing your edge? Whatever grip it is the nightmare has here, you'd never know by looking. Bridge is up. I wonder why. To keep folk in, or to keep something out? Something's concealed.
village is full of ghost wards. They're afraid of something. Lead them up. Cause no trouble. Who oh, there? Anyone home? Where did they go? Upon my soul, do pray. Friends, find fortitude in our success. Exiled from our homes by the devil's machinations, we congregate before the Lord in this new meeting house. We gather, we worship, we overcome, and we shall be well protected by the holy ward my son now makes under my instruction. For I have spent hours countless in your service, poring through books and papers, devouring the oeuvre of my peers, that our meeting house be safe. Fairfax Haskell, for whom the word pompous was invented. Half built? Yes. Open to the four winds? Yes. But already it is resplendent with our faith. A shining reminder of our renewed belief in better days. McCraith, Mr. McCraith. <laughs> I thought you. I thought you. What happy portent, what most excellent news. What blessings. I applaud your valorous deeds. Oh, fate, I say, dead, sir. I thought you dead. Maybe I am. Do not make light of such matters, my friend, for the devil's wrath is wide awake, and his claw scratches at our door, metaphorically speaking. I'm alive. I promise. My friends, I shall deliver this sermon another time. The battle with the devil's legions is ongoing, and Mr. McCraith and I have much to discuss. Thank you, Lammy. Behold this miracle of ours, Mr. McCraith. Exiled we, yet in our darkest hour, we find the moral vigor to build this humble monument to resilience. But you and I must speak of darker matters. For we, erudite men of higher learning, know that evil yet walks. There is much work to be done. Indeed there is. Yes, yes. Forgive the inelegance of my welcome. You are alone. Do I surmise that Miss Duarte is no more? She knew the risks. So will I go in unto the king. And if I perish, I perish, so said Esther to Mordecai. Such wisdom, such courage. I'm so sorry for your loss. Grief is a journey, long and painful, but you do not walk the road alone, I promise you. Oh, I know. 
I know. In time, God healed my wounds. May you two find peace. Now, I regret that even at this most burdensome time for you, I must move with haste to business and beg once more for your help. What's going on? It must be serious if you're asking for my help. Since your defeat at the Meeting House, the devil, heartened and emboldened, goes from strength to strength. He insinuates himself among my people, reveling in the suffering of the disease he unleashes upon us. It pits one against the other. Suspicion tears this community apart once again. All this to weaken my people and lead them away from the light of God. What's going on? It must be serious if you're asking for my help. Since your defeat at the Meeting House, the devil, heartened and emboldened, goes from strength to strength. He insinuates himself among my people, reveling in the suffering of the disease he unleashes upon us. It pits one against the other. Suspicion tears this community apart once again. All this to weaken my people and lead them away from the light of God. In times of disease, you need doctors, and I'm no doctor. We'll not treat the symptoms, we'll tear out the root. An agent of the devil walks among us. A witch! You must find her. Or him, as it may be. You and I share great expertise. But I'm a man of position. Well, you, sir, are much more familiar with field work. Go. Meet my people, walk amongst them, learn which of them secretly serves the demon, that we may expunge this evil malady from our body politic. What makes you think there is a witch at work here? Aye, sir, I'm a man of God and intellect. I can read the signs. When a so-called mystery disease afflicts half of my people overnight, there can be only one culprit. It is the devil's doing, sir. Probably through one of his servants. For you see, I understood immediately that the water in the well had been tainted. There are no strangers here. You could self-accept it. No one has fled. The guilty woman, or man, I suppose, remains within the village. As evil walks, the evil are emboldened, but this witch shall see her downfall. Or his, of course. As did the last one, as will the next. Some years ago, you may have heard tell of this, I made my name on the execution of a terrible witch. It pains me that I must do it once more. I am no witch hunter. My business is with the lingering dead. For a fee, yes, I know. But you can't deny evil practitioners exist. A few years ago, I had to cleanse this community from such a threat. Why would she curse your colony? Why would anyone choose to separate from God's flock? I'm afraid some just want to see the world burn, Mr. McCraith. By the grace and charity of the good Lord, she was exposed. It was my honor to serve him in sending her to hell where she belonged. Her mask was a good one, as if butter would not melt upon her tongue. But you cannot fool a man of faith 
and intellect. No, sir, you cannot. You'll not mind me saying it, but for a Puritan paradise, you seem to get more than your fair share of witches. God has not forsaken us, but someone here does the devil's work. Find me a witch, Mr. McCraith. Return this place to the Lord. I'm a working man, Governor, but the Lord does seem happy to pay, so I'll do what I can. I'll take my leave of you, Governor. Of course. Outside, you must take the stairs. While you're with us, the first house on the left shall be your home. Another witch hunt. Another false accusation, you mean? Another blight on the lives of women? If you need help... Ghost Ward. I think you can safely knock it over. Thank you. Anytime. 